Yeah, like this. Yeah. 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 They purchased it in 1938. Remember, 1938 to about 1978, it operated as a dairy farm. And during that time, they milked over 200 cows a day, two times a day, 365 days a year, in all kinds of nasty weather. They're going to get super big. Dairy farming is a really tough business, and after about 40 years, Mr. Carter decided he didn't want to be in that business anymore. So he sold all his dairy cows and bought some Angus cows and was going to run this place as a beef farm. And that worked out pretty well until the taxes got really high in the late 1990s. So in the early 2000s, my boss, Mr. Jake Carter, graduated from the University of Georgia. Let me hear you go Bulldogs. Go Bulldogs! All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. Graduated from the University of Georgia and came home and said, Mom and Dad, why don't we turn this into an agritourism business? And in 2006, up there where the market is, on the right, you'll you see up there, he had a corn maze and several different things going on and add something new every year. It's turned into what you see here today, a great place to bring your family and we are glad you're here. Our theme this year is We Grow Family Traditions and if you're not a family tradition with us yet, we hope you will be soon. Look out to the left, you'll see our muscadine and scuppin' on vines. I think they got a few left out there. I saw people picking them earlier today. That is the only fruit that we're picking now. You see all this plastic on the ground? That's where we're going to be planting strawberries. I'm going to tell you all about strawberries. We're going to get around to the other side of the farm. Now I'm going to tell you about things you see on this side of the farm. See the red awning up there, the market. We bought a market before you leave. They have a lot of great things up there. The best ice cream and pound cake you'll ever put in your mouth. Jams and jellies. And, and, uh, my favorite is the strawberry slushy. Go get you a slushy and tell them Bob sent you. Look way off to the right, you'll see those two round uh, structures up there. Those are silos that were used to hold corn and grain when this is the dairy farm. I mentioned the silos. It's because it's right next to the corn maze and right in the middle of the kitty corner. Take the kids up there, they'll have a great time. On the other side of that black awning, you'll see our pumpkin patch. Go get some pumpkins to take home. We'll loan you a wheelbarrow and take them out to your car, but please don't take our wheelbarrow with you. On the left, you're going to see our mature peach orchard. We have about 600 trees in that orchard in 10 different varieties. The names of the varieties are on the sides at the end of the row. The reason we have 10 different varieties is because they ripen at different times. The first two down here on the end, they're called flavor rich. They come in in late May. The rest of them come in in June and July. It allows us to extend our picking season for two or three months. These trees are about 15 years old. They're just about through their production life, but we think we're going to get another year or two out of it. That's why we have cut off the old rope road. If you look closely, you'll see the stubs of the big limbs sticking out there. The reason we do that is because species only grow on new limbs. And if you don't cut off the old limbs, the new limbs have no place to grow but straight up in the air. And when that happens, the peaches are too tall for us to pick. During our prime picking season in the summertime, this lot on the right will be full. That's why we encourage everyone to order your tickets online at southernbellfarm.com. That 
where you'll be guaranteed entry into the UPIC or to the activities, whichever you want to go to. Look off to my right, you'll see our blueberry patch. We have an acre and a half of blueberries. The blueberries come in around the 1st of June. As do the blackberries. We have three and a half acres of blackberries over the hill. If you've ever picked blackberries out of the woods, you know what the problem is. They have stickers. We have thornless blackberries, so you don't have to worry about thorns or stickers. And blackberries are big and juicy. As I mentioned, the blackberries and blueberries come in around the first of June, but always check our website, southernbellfarm.com, for the best picking season. It takes peach trees about four years to mature enough to produce fruit. Look ahead here on the left and uh, right as far as you can see. Stop it. Some of our 1,200 pounds of peach trees we five years ago and we thought we were going to get a crop last year. But Mother Nature had a different idea for us. She hit us with two pretty hard cold weather frosts. We lost all the blossoms on these trees. 70% of the blossoms on our old tree. <laughs> but the good news is, these trees over here, since it didn't have any pieces, the limbs yeah. just grew like crazy. So if we don't have another frost this year, we expect a bumper crop of peaches. So during our peach picking season next year, go to our webpage, and chances are you're going to find two or three times where we do pick one, get one free. That's farm talk for buy one, get one free. Ew, ew, ew. 230,000. Two, three, zero, comma, zero, zero, zero. 230,000 is the number of strawberry plants that we're going to put in all of this plastic starting in about two weeks. They're all planted by hand, and let me tell you how we do this. We have a tractor that pulls a trailer, and in the front of that trailer is a round steel drum with spikes in it, and it's connected to a water tank. That trailer rolls over the plastic. The round drum pokes holes in the plastic, squirts water down in the hole, and four men sitting in the back of the strawberry. Speaking of, look, with, look ahead. The strawberries are being delivered. Some about 230,000 strawberries. Yay. Anyway, get back to what I'm talking about. Four men in the back of that trailer will drop a strawberry plant down into that hole, and that's how we're going to plant 230,000 strawberries in about a month's time. Looks like we're going to be starting pretty quick in about a week. If you come back and take this ride in another two or three weeks, there's a good chance you're going to see that happening. It is an amazing thing to see. These strawberries will lie dormant throughout the winter. They start growing in the spring and then produce blossoms. That's when we have to worry about the frost. Yay, strawberries! Just about lost my train of thought. I'm so excited about seeing the strawberries come. Look up ahead on the right on the hill, you'll see our zinnia patch. And on the right, just to the right of there, you'll see our sunflower patch. And it looks like there's tons of sunflowers out there. You can go up to the market and purchase a cup. Come down here and put some water in that cup and this hose right here on the right. Cooking patch over there. We'll loan you a pair of scissors, cut all the flowers you can stick down in that cup. You're welcome to take home. That's what we wore last time. Tractor Bob's tip of the day is how to get on how to get more flowers in that cup. You cut the stems long enough to go down into the bottom of the cup where the water is. But before you put the stem down in there, pull the leaves off of that stem and you'll get twice as many flowers into that cup. We 
We mentioned our website, SouthernBellFarm.com again. Go to our website. We always have a banner at the top of that website. It'll let you know activities that are going on on the farm. We also have a Facebook page. We're on Facebook. Go to our page, Southern Bell Farm, and like us, and we'll send you periodic messages throughout the week about activities going on here at the farm. Thanks for taking this ride with me today. Hope you enjoy the rest of the day here at the farm. A lot of things to do.